Hi, Carumba. Will success spoil Bart Simpson? Well, he's probably spoiled enough. Everybody but what about the man who created him? The man whose simple drawings used to be reserved for just newspapers, but now spend Sunday night in millions and millions of homes. Before, my fans had to be able to read to enjoy my comics, and now they can just turn on a knob and, and enjoy my cartoons uh, with The Simpsons. So uh, it's, a, it's a slightly wider ranging audience. I have three-year-olds tugging at my uh, pant leg for autographs. <laughs> The autograph seekers today come from people attending the 21st Annual San Diego Comic Convention, a collection of comic book and cartoon fans. Matt Groening says he started coming to the comic convention 10 years ago as a struggling cartoonist. No one paid much attention to him then. They do now. He used to show up, and I used to be the guy with the portfolio full of uh, badly drawn doodles and wanting, looking for a job. Now it's, uh, the tables are turned. Kids are coming up to me saying, how can I break into cartooning? Well, today, Matt Groening has broken into cartooning big time, attracting fans from the convention and covering America with T-shirts and images of Bart and the family Simpson. Will Groening ever get tired of this little spike-headed hero? I hope a picture of Bart isn't on my tombstone. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Bob Hansen, News 8, at the convention center.